Hey guys, welcome to another Mafia Godfathers video. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Hydra, the long-awaited plane that came out with the uh, heist update a few weeks ago. Uh, the Hydra is basically a Harrier jet. Uh, if any of you have played Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 3, Modern Warfare 2, stuff like that, you know that you can call on a Harrier strike, and this is the type of jet that flies in and hovers above the ground. Uh, in those games. So now it has uh, made its debut on Grand Theft Auto as well. Um, so here we are on GTA 5 with the Hydra. And I'm just going to show you a little bit about uh, what it can do. So, first of all, you have the hovering. Basically, the controls for the hovering are exactly the same as a helicopter's controls. Uh, R2 for up, L2 for down, and then you tilt from side to side forward and back, stuff like that, using the left joystick, and as always you can retract and uh, lower the uh, landing gear, and if you would like to switch it over from hovering to being a jet, uh, all you have to do is push the right directional button, you'll see it'll switch, but make sure you have a good altitude before you switch, because uh, this thing will fall like a rock if you don't uh, hammer down the gas as soon as you switch, which I will show you here in a second. It really doesn't like it. Uh, so you can switch back over, and it will eventually bring itself to a stop. You'll see that it leans back to uh, try to go into hover mode again. And just so you guys know, this is a single person vehicle. There was some speculation this was going to be a two person vehicle, but uh, it is only for one person. Only uh, one person can be in it at a time, can't have passengers. But now let me uh, show you, I'll get some lower altitude here and we'll switch over. See, it has a lot of trouble, so you don't want to too low to the ground when you switch over because it will nose dive. I managed to save it there from going down but if I would have switched it without uh, pressing R2 to uh, get the engine going it would have fallen straight to the ground and exploded so uh, you're going to definitely need some practice with flying this thing if you're not uh, used to flying or if you're not a fan of flying on this game but once again uh, this this plane is definitely worth buying. I mean, this thing can help you in so many ways. You can call it in missions. You can, uh, unfortunately, you cannot call it in in heist, which is kind of a bummer, because I've tried that, and I could not call it in. But, anyway, you can definitely call it in with missions. Uh, you know, the normal contact missions, stuff like that. and it can definitely help you out there, and you can just call it in and have fun with your friends and uh, test it out. And it is uh, very fun to fly after you learn how to fly it. <coughs> you can land on top of pretty much anything you want. You can land on top of the Maze Bank building and all kinds of stuff. So, uh, definitely worth the money, even though it is very expensive. And I believe it is actually the most expensive item that Grand Theft Auto has to offer to date. Uh, I don't think there's anything more expensive than this right now. I could be wrong about that, but I really don't think that there's uh, anything more expensive than the Hydra. So, let me bring up uh, the website here. You are going to find this on Warstock Catch and Carry. And there you have it right there. Three million dollars. But it is definitely worth the money. Uh, there was a lot of speculation that this was going to be about 1.5 to 2 million, but it ended up coming out at a staggering 3 million dollars. So, that's the Hydra for you. Now, uh, let's uh, take a look at some of its firepower. And again, uh, you can uh, also take off either using the jet engine, like a normal plane, or you can take off with the uh, hovering capabilities. So this, just like the P996 laser jet, uh, this can uh, fire explosive tip bullets out of the cannon. 
as you can see here. And it has uh, rockets, but again, you can only fire two at a time, just like the P996. It's not unlimited. It kind of has to reload. But speed-wise, uh, I believe the uh, P996 is slightly faster than this. Not by much. Th this one takes uh, takes more time to get up to speed. The P996 kind of just in like half a second is at full speed, but this one takes some time to reach its top speed. So, uh, and we'll take a quick look at the inside here. So here's the inside of the Hydra. Oh, and by the way, I forgot to mention, you unlock this uh, in the Humane Labs Raid heist, which is the third heist out of the five that uh, Rockstar has added so far. Um, <coughs> you will unlock this after the EMP setup mission. And I believe you only see this once in the heist missions, and it's the only time you see it uh, in the game, period, unless you buy it uh, for online use. Uh, I don't think you ever see it again in like the story mode or anything like that, so uh, maybe in future updates with, uh, I heard Rockstar may come out with a uh, future storyline update where they add more to the story, but uh, that's only rumors. So there you have it, just like any other uh, fighter pilot game, looks pretty much the same. Again, as I said in the uh, Savage video earlier, uh, which you can also find on our uh, YouTube page, the Savage Helicopter description video, uh, I would definitely recommend buying this, and I also do enjoy flying this more in third person than in first person, but uh, I find it's easier to control in third person, but again, everyone's different, and you can all have your own opinion, but uh, so if you guys have any, uh, any, uh, comments or questions, uh, please put them in the comments of the video. <coughs> Thanks for watching this, and that's the Hydra for you guys, uh, the long-awaited Harrier jet that uh, has finally made its debut on Grand Theft Auto. And if some of you are wondering, uh, if you've seen our previous videos, uh, there was another Hydra description video on here that I posted a few weeks back. Um, the only reason I'm redoing it is because I had some reports from some of my friends that uh, you couldn't couldn't really hear my voice over the sound of the Hydra, so I went in and lowered my sound effects volume on here and decided to redo the video. So that's the only reason why. But uh, thanks for watching the video, and uh, please subscribe to our YouTube page and give our videos a like if you like them. And stay tuned for more from the Mafia Godfathers. Thanks, guys.